here in the studio with a brand new pillow, Sleep Like a King. Stay tuned for it. That's coming up within the show. Devin's back. First time ever on our easy payment plan, doubling size again with the sassy blanket flowers. Mm -hmm. What are these? What have you got for us, sir? This is our three-piece uh, sassy blanket flower. And they're called the blanket flower because these plants will be covered in a blanket of flowers from June to the first frost every single year. Wow. It's pretty about incredible. That, right? It's incredible because you can go to your garden centers and find other blanket flowers, but these these varieties are brand new. We found them last year and we picked them because the plants stay short and compact, about 14 to 16 inches tall, but what they do so well is they provide this gorgeous bushy growth habit that is covered with flowers for five months. A flower season that's about twice as long as other blanket flowers out there. This is not in the daisy family or anything close to it, right? No, but it is a daisy shaped flower. It's kind of a daisy shaped flower. Definitely. So if you like that kind of flower, Which, you're gonna get these and you're gonna have better color and you're gonna have more beauty. For more a beauty, of time. especially when you consider these colors are colors of the Southwest shade. Uh, southwest sun and you're going to be having these in your garden from June to the first frost every single year and as you can see this is the orange halo it has this gorgeous inner orange uh, that is surrounded by tips of bright yellow it's going to be fiery and sunny in your garden That's beautiful all summer that? long look at that and they're, what a unique con a combination of colors. Exactly, and all of the three colors that you're getting are multicolored, and it's a really uh, unique color to have in your garden that most gardens are lacking. First day, by the way, on our easy payment plan, only about three thirty-five hundred 3,500 to go around to these, and that is for the season. It's brand new this month. Um, as you're seeing the, the lower right there, ship is shown, you're not going to be uh, charged until it's shipped. Now Correct. look at this yellow. Look the yellow, yellow touch. touch, it just has a touch of yellow at the edge of the flowers. Now we picked these blanket flowers because blanket flower is native to some of the most dry, arid areas of the world, including Arizona, the desert areas of India. And what that means for you guys at home is that these can handle the harsh conditions, yet they'll produce a blanket of flower like that. Sunset snappy. Isn't that gorgeous? There's sunset snappy. Boy, that is a blanket of flowers, isn't it? Aptly yes. named, right? Exactly. Yeah. blanket flowers. It's super sassy in your garden, and uh, I love them because you can see there's a bunch of different kind of uh, sizes of flowers, and what that shows is that there's new flowers constantly uh, taking shape on your plants, so that you have, that's why they're able to bloom for such a long period of time. Other blanket flowers will shoot up a few sparse flowers, okay. and then they'll kind of be done. These are compact and have a, a, so many flowers. Show me again uh, about where in the country. So we got some ask us questions. Yeah. California, they look southwestern, but Definitely. what about in the north? What about North Dakota? They're winter hardy to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 20? Yes. So if you're, That's in, huge. If you're in upper North Dakota, maybe keep it in a pot and bring it, put it in your garage if, if, it's, if you're like in that little area. Yeah, but Pennsylvania, but otherwise, I'm not, I'm not negative 20 ain't gonna happen too no, often, right? No, exactly, so plant it in the okay. ground. I like it, I like these, these are great. I love them because at the end of the season, they'll actually produce, uh, they're kind of like a cone flower where the flowers will get spent and then it will let seeds out so that they produce more of a coverage every year. Well, just, just like so many of the things you had on earlier, right? Right, right. And a perennial, they're coming back again next year. Reblooming daylilies coming back again next year, and you'll get more. Give us a little tutorial, if you would, please, Devin. I would love to. So what here, am I getting? This turns into this. I like showing that story every Yeah, once in a while. so this is what you're going to be receiving at home. Look at the gorgeous Boy, roots that's again. that's on its way. Right. So we've been taking care of these so that these will start blooming within literally a few weeks. Does it if, come with that stick? Uh, no, probably not. You kind so of put that in there. We could just put it in there just to keep it nice and, and sturdy right now. So just put it in your pot like this. I like to put it right in the ground because these will spread and produce more plant life every single year. Better you in the ground to, than in the pot. I prefer it in the yep, ground for that's sure. Good, I like that. So use your spray and flourish and your flower magic and give it some water and it's as easy as that. So this is a plant that loves the full sun. Plant this around your daylilies. Plant it around your poppies from earlier. Ah, plant it around your daylilies. This is garden planting season. So you could lay kind of, kind of, kind of tear these in a way, couldn't you? Yeah. Right. So exactly, that's how you get the best look in your garden. How high will these get? How Only tall? about 14 to 16 inches tall. Okay, great. But what they do is they're covered with so many flowers. If we can just get in close here and we can just take a real fine look, you can start to count all the number of flowers. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. F all of these different buds that are just starting to, to shoot up. 
That is why these plants will bloom five to six months every single year, whereas other blanket flowers will get two to three months of flowers because they're not producing new buds all the time. These special varieties are constantly producing new flowers so that you have the most gorgeous plants in your garden year after year. First time ever on uh, Too Easy Payments, free shipping and handling. Take us through the colors again, if you would, sir. I would definitely love to. Here you see the orange halo. This is probably my favorite because it has that gorgeous, deep orange in the center surrounded by a little uh, edging of the bright yellow. They're like sun, uh, like a beaming sun in your garden from June to the frost every year. Now these are such an easy plant to take care of. The yellow touch, here you can see it's bright, it's vibrant. And remember, these are native to areas of uh, deserty areas. So these are super drought tolerant, heat resistant, humidity resistant, deer and rabbit resistant. So this is a plant you just leave and let go and mother nature will take care of them. And if you want a gorgeous little tuft of blanket flowers like that in your garden. It's so simple. All you have to do is just put it in your garden and that's about, you know, one or two seasons in. That is all you could ask for in your garden. M53000, wrapping this one up. We got so much to get to. Um, is it called Lamium? You lamium can say, you can say Lamium or Lamium, either way. Uh, I like Lamium. Go, I'm going Lamium. Lamium. Uh, and this is not only ground cover, 